Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 98. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 97 to 100. Hey, this YouTuber said, hey, I saw that label you had in one of your templates that used the address function. So I'm going to show you how to use the address function when creating labels and why it's so excellent. Now here it is, and this is common when you have templates or workbooks you're going to give to someone else and uh, they're going to enter data and you want to leave directions. So what I want in this cell right here, I want to say, uh, uh, please enter name in cell, and this is uh, D8, so D8. Enter. The problem is, if I were to insert a row up here, that D8 remains static, but that right there where they're supposed to enter their name is now D9. So I'm going to Control Z, and now I'm going to click in the cell and hit F2 to put it into edit mode. And you can uh, click here at the beginning, and I'm going to put, I'm going to convert this to a formula. I'm going to type equals uh, double quote. And then here, double quote. Right now, that's a silly formula because we could enter that text without a formula. But watch this. If I hit Control Enter, oh, that is um, how you enter text into a formula. Now I'm going to hit F2. I'm going to double click this D8 or highlight this D8. And I want to put a function here. And so actually, I'm going to get rid of that um, quote, the D8. I'm going to hit Delete. Right now, the formula is just please enter name in cell. Huh? We're going to click right after the double quote because that's the text. And we want to join that with a function that will always tell us wherever this cell is, no matter where we move it. We're going to use the ampersand, which is the join symbol. And now we're going to use the address, address function. And the address function is pretty straightforward. There's a bunch of stuff at the end, but we're just going to use row number, column number, and what type of cell reference it is. Now, row number, this would be, we could type in the number uh, 8 here. And column number, we could uh, type in the number 1, 2, 3, 4, right? But instead of using uh, a static number, we'll use the row function. So ROW. And the row function, if we, uh, I'm going to hit, uh, click right there and hit space to convert this to just a bunch of stuff, not a formula anymore. And then I'm going to expand the range of this. So because I want to be able to click on that cell right there. Then I'm going to click back here, hit F2 to put it into edit mode, click here and backspace. And now it's a formula again. By the way, the definition of a formula is equal sign as the first character in the cell. Now row, click on that cell right there and we'll leave it relative. So wherever this moves, um, this will move also. So that's the first argument in address. Now we need to put a comma. And screen tips are always polite because they'll remind you you have to put a comma to get to the next argument. Notice it's bold now. Now we'll use the column function. Click on that cell, close parentheses, comma to get to the next argument. Now, when you get a situation like this, um, you're like, what in the world is that? Well, you can actually click right up on this insert function. And click here uh, at ABS number, and it will remind you here. Specifies a reference type. Absolute is one. So if we wanted uh, dollar sign, whatever it is, dollar sign, whatever it is, we put one. Uh, absolute row relative column two, uh, relative row absolute column three, and relative is four. So we want four. If uh, you were using R1, uh, C1 style uh, cell references, you would. Uh, type a zero there. And if you had a sheet reference, you can do that there. But this is all, all we need right here are these four. I'm going to click OK. And now it says, please enter name in D8. Watch this. If I insert a, a row right here, it updates. If I were to move this right here, it updates. Pretty clever. Now let's do one more. Um, oftentimes, we want to tell people to enter a range of values. Um, so equals open quote, because we want to combine text with some address functions. So um, please enter, I'm going to, please enter values in 
in the range. And now I'm going to uh, end quote and hit Enter. And notice it says um, that's not spelled right. I just want to show you something really important about concatenating. Um, if you go up to Review, I can't use the F7 key because it will turn off my recorder. But if you hit uh, F7 there, it says, uh, do you want to continue? I'm going to say yes. Uh, Why well, I can see I spelled something wrong there. But notice it didn't find please. So concatenating, if you have formulas concatenating, uh, making labels and whatnot in directions, uh, spell check won't catch it. But watch this. If I click in the cell and hit, um, I'm actually going to make this a lot bigger. If I hit in the cell and hit F2 and now hit uh, review spell check, it will. So you always got to. Uh, spell check while you're in edit mode. So I'm going to say please there. That's really important. I make all sorts of mistakes. My students in my classes are always finding my spelling areas and all of my concatenating formulas. Please enter values in the range. Now we want to use an ampersand because we want to combine. But wait a second, a range of values. We need to say from E12 to e E18. So we're actually going to need two address functions. Address. I'm going to move this little screen tip, ROW, and I'm going to click right there, close parentheses, comma, and then I'm going to go to the column, COL, column, and I'm going to click right there, comma, four, close parentheses. Now, I'm going to need two of these, because I need to, um, so I'm actually going to scoop this out of my formula right here and control C. Very carefully click at the end. Now I need a colon, and we have to join this. So far we have just one join symbol, whatever that text is in this address. But now we need another one. Join, and in double quotes, a colon. And double quotes, and join. So now we're joining one, two, three things. Now I'm going to control V, and I need to change this from E12 to E18. Notice I'm double clicking that cell reference in edit mode and then clicking there. And sure enough, when I hit enter, now it says please enter the values in the range E12 to E18. And you can insert. And sure enough, it updates. You can not only insert, but if you were going to move it to there. Whoops. That was copy. Control Z. Man, I'm lucky there's Control Z. And I'm going to use my move cursor right there. If I move it, sure enough, that updates. Oh, I can see I need a space there. So I'm going to click there and hit F2. And I need a space where right there. Enter. All right, that's uh, address function and some concatenating. And don't forget about spell check if you like to make labels. All right, see you next trip.